Okay, we have the Rode Video Micro. Wanted to get a new microphone on top of the camera there. So I thought I'd try this. Nice packaging, for some reason it's got a little gold dot there, don't know why. Turns out it's their logo, who'd have thunk? So this comes with the shock mount and apparently it comes with a dead cat. So that's good. So there's a compact on camera microphone, two year warranty, no battery required, compact size, recoat or right coat, Lira, suspension mount included and a furry windshield, optimum performance. Good, good, good. Now let's pop this open and take a little look. All right, neat little package. Let's have a look. Got the dead cat, that's the most noticeable thing. Oh, the mic is actually inside it. Oh, okay, so it's in there straight away. Got the shock mount there. Plastic construction, but it feels nice and springy. A rubberized uh, gray bit in the middle for grip of the mic itself. Obviously a hot shoe bottom. Seems pretty decent, and these little grooves here around the circle there is for clipping in the lead in, which is here. A springy, stretchable lead. 3.5 mil jacks on the end, each side of it. Red, don't know why they choose red. Nothing else is black, but there you go. There's some silica and a little booklet, probably promoting the other products. Quick start guide. So basically just plug it all together. You're gonna, it's not gonna take a genius to work this out. All right, so this is it on the camera. I got it facing backwards because that's basically how I'll use it. You know, it's kind of a personal mic. It's not really a, a movie making mic or an interview mic. It's a small mic you put on your camera to get better audio, usually for yourself. So if I'm talking, I need it to be facing me so I can uh, do my videos like this. And um, so that's it. That's with the, obviously the dead cat. And that's without the dead cat. <laughs> so that's how we'll probably use it for the majority of the time. It's, it's you know, not gonna use it outdoors probably a lot. So, um, uh, so yeah, I like the design. I think it's really well designed. Um, see the red lead there is flapping about. I got a fix for that. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but I've tucked it in around the, uh, the tightening knob. I'll do a close up of this. There are grooves and uh, the grooves aren't just there for decoration. They actually serve a function or a purpose. And that is to tuck that red lead. You can pin it in between any of those grooves uh, to keep it from flapping around. So that's the way I have it right there. So you can shake this around. It doesn't rattle or make noise or swing about or anything. So this, and you can still put your eye up to the viewfinder. So it doesn't get in the way at all. Um, I, I would prefer it being black, the lead but road i think uh, all their leads are usually red i think it's part of their thing so um it is what it is um but otherwise very well designed you know it's nice and short but it's also springy or extendable so you can use it on top of a flash mount if you mount it up there you've got plenty of uh, room there to do that and i love that both ends of this uh, lead have l shape uh, connectors they're both like that so um, that makes everything easier as well i personally think all leads should be like that but uh, they are just me um, so the form factor of the, of the mic is just beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. I couldn't have designed that better myself. It's nice and solid and robust, uh, so I can't go wrong. So the only thing to do now is to have a sound test. So let's start uh, with that. I'll do a baseline test without the mic, with just the built-in microphone on the Sony uh, 6300, 60, just so you can get an idea of what that's like. And then I'm gonna plug the, the mic in and do another test, see the difference. So let's do that. All right, so this is a baseline test. Um, I've not plugged the road in yet. This is just the inbuilt microphone. If you're wondering, it's a Sony A6300. So this is the built-in microphone recording this. Hope I'm coming through loud and clear. So we're gonna plug in the road mic now and see what the difference is. All right, so this test is with the road mic plugged in. It's looking right at me. Minus the uh, dead cat, because the dead cat is on my finger, actually. Right here. So, um... That's my phone. Right, so I forgot what I was saying. So the mic is plugged in. Um, long story short, I would recommend it. It's small, it's compact, it's lightweight, it's really well built. You know, if you do video blogs or something like that, and you, you want to be running and gunning, and you want to be on the move, and you want a, a good quality mic to take with you, I can't see why you want to take anything else. This is uh, this is probably the best quality mic you're going to get for the price. So i got nothing much else to say about it, apart from thumbs up from me. 
Okay, so just a quick note, uh, this section here is the A6300 audio, brought in no processing, and this section here is the, the A6300 with the road plugged in. Uh, again, no processing, but look at the peaks, what a difference. So anyway, don't forget to check the website out, redreviews.com. That's Red Reviews with a Z on the end, don't forget that. Reason being, in case you're wondering, Red Reviews with an S was gonna cost me 1,400 quid. If I changed the S to a Z, it cost me 89 pence, so the S became a Z. So then I rebranded my channel. That is a massive difference. Plus, you pronounce reviews with a Z anyway. Reviews, not reviews, so it's reviews. So anyway, check out the website, Red Reviews, dot com uh, also a twitter page twitter forward slash red reviews i got a google plus page if you use google plus i don't personally know anyone who does but i do apart from me and of course my youtube channel at youtube.com forward slash red reviews you can check out all the uh, videos there but you're probably already on my channel watching this anyway on my website right so that's all from me i'm gonna stop talking now and stop wasting your time goodbye cheerio peace